Hello, Sortlerloon here, and this is another tutorial for Sunvox. It's been a little while since the last uh, video I've done. Uh, apologies, but I've been working on different things, Valkian and, and other uh, projects. You've seen the cartoon I made. So I've been working on different things, and uh, currently, um, yeah, still working on Valkian. So that's, that's good. So anyway, today we're going to be looking at the input module, which was, uh, rather is, a new module. Um, implemented into Sunbox and I think this last version 1.7.3 I, I guess the beta um, version had the input module and so the input module has been available before that for certain platforms I think maybe Android and or iOS um, but now it's available for PC and Windows Mac and, and Linux as well if I recall so uh, what does it do well it, it allows you <clears throat> to record input from microphones. So what I'm talking right now, I can uh, go ahead and, and record into Sunbox. The module itself is pretty simple, but the setup is, again, pretty simple, but just a little extra step. So if you go into the preferences menu here, it's uh, got a few different little sections here. And one thing you're going to um, basically look at is the audio section. And there you want to make sure your input is what you're using. So for me, this is my M Audio Ozone. Um, MIDI keyboard. It has a mic port on it, and that's where the microphone that I'm using goes into. And so it's recording. Um, well, Sunbox isn't recording right now, but the uh, screen capture software is recording from my computer and Audacity. I have recording the vo vocal track separately. So now we're going to go ahead and record using Sunbox as well. So again, looking at the preferences menu, we want to make sure that our input is selected, um, the correct input rather is selected, and so it's the correct one going into the microphone I'm speaking into right now. You want to add an input module, and so there's our module, and you can see it um, deforming as I speak. <clears throat> and so one thing you're probably going to want to do when you attach it is make it louder because it's probably going to be very very quiet so what we're going to do is make it really loud so let's go ahead and push it up maybe 1024 you know the maximum this module can go and then amplify it by another uh about 200 percent to make it really really loud there we go there we go and so and so now now some box, some box is, is recording, recording my voice, my voice. So let's mute it real quick. All right, so that's good. That's good. It's recording our voice. But one thing that you probably, probably might want to try, or you, yeah, you might try like something this. like this. Do 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 do. do. Hello. Hello. Hi 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 hi. But it won't, but it won't record our voice. As you see, it won't record any input. Rather, it doesn't record any input from the input module. That's because the input module is strictly for passing data from the uh, microphone in. So that's really good actually because it allows you to do things like um, if you wanted to sing live on, on Sunbox, you could do that. You could, you know, say you were playing a, a con not a concert, well, a concert, or, um, you know, playing a band, you could go ahead and plug in an input module and then plug in your effects and then plug it into the output module. So you can, so you can have uh, a lot of um, effects on your voice as you're singing it, which is really cool. Uh, uh, and as, and as, you as you're here, here Sunbox, Sunbox is, is boosting, boosting the, volume. the volume, so, so that, that's really useful. But now, how do we record that into our song? How do we record, you know, lyrics into a song? Well, what you can do is plug it into a sampler module. So, I don't know if I've done a tutorial on the sampler module just yet, on recording uh, into a sampler module. So maybe if I have, then this will just be another, you know, demonstration of it. If I haven't, then this will be uh, talking about that as well. So then, what is the sampler module? Well, usually you, you use it to load in samples. So you can load in, you know, different samples that you've taken and play them back. Oh, once you connect Right, okay. Now, something else that you can do as well as edit the samples directly, which I've done before, I've, I've shown that. You can also record sounds into a sampler. So let's demonstrate that. Let's go ahead and make an analog generator. 
Now, let's go ahead and plug it into a sampler. Okay, so you might wonder exactly what's happening. Well, no, it, it's the same basic principle for, for the modules. So I'm sending data from the analog generator into the sampler. Just like it's going out to the out output, and that's what we hear, the sampler is going to hear what we are playing through the analog generator. So now we just click record, or record mono, or record lo-fi, and then play our song, or sound, or whatever. Then we just go back and hit record. Hit the, the button that was lit. And that ceases the recording and saves basically what we recorded into the sampler module. So now we can play it back. Oh. Yeah, so that's really useful. The higher that the note plays, the faster it plays, and the lower that the note plays, the, the slower it plays. So you can use a sample retriggering triggering to make it run at the correct speed if you want to you know, mess around with that. But that's really useful because you can play, for example, an entire song, make an entire song, um, record it into a sampler, and then retrigger it to make you know, some really cool beats and things. But anyway, that, that's just an example of how to use the sampler to record. And uh, recording mono only records into one channel as opposed to two, like this, which is stereo. And record lo-fi records into a lower bit rate if I'm I'm not 100% sure on that on exactly like what the bit rate is but I'm pretty sure it records lo-fi like it says it does so let's go ahead and see exactly how lo-fi that yeah it doesn't sound like really uh sounds really low fi low fidelity right okay so that's an example of how to use a sampler to record so you probably know where I'm going with this. You can plug an input into a sampler to record voice. So now, let's go ahead and out. plug it yeah. out. Okay. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, we don't have to plug it out. We don't need I don't need to hear myself uh, talking while I'm recording. So let's go ahead and hit the record and then say what we want say what we want to uh, what we want to say. Hello, Solar Loon here, and this is an example of recording with Sunvox using the input module and the sampler module. Have fun. That's it. So then, now we don't need the input module at all, but I'm not going to delete it just yet. And we can use a note to play it back. <laughs> that's, that's, that's okay. So you see, there's a lot that can be done with this. Hello, Solar Loon here, and this is an example of recording with Sunvox using the input module and the sampler module. Have fun. Yeah, so it's it's really powerful. It records it perfectly fine. Um, let's try lo-fi to see how lo-fi that sounds. Hello, this is Solar Loon, and this is a lo-fi recording. It sounds like you're playing audio back on like an SNES or maybe a PlayStation 1. So yeah, it doesn't sound so great. Let's see how that sounds. Hello, this is Solar Loon, and this is a lo-fi recording. It sounds like you're playing audio back on like an SES or maybe a PlayStation 1. So yeah, it doesn't sound so great. Correction, it does sound pretty good. <laughs> I kind of assumed that it would be really low, low quality, but it's actually quite good. So then, let's do a quick little test here. Let's... And this records, okay, yeah, that's what it is. So recording low, uh, normally records into 44100 hertz, 44.1 kilo kilohertz which is um, kind of a, a, a standard for vocal you know stuff this one's 22.05 so it's uh, kilohertz so it's um, uh, around yeah I mean it's, it's half as, as high quality but you can really not Hello. hear the difference too well but then again I'm speaking in a very normal tone I'm not going uh, speaking or singing with a lot of highs and lows to really push the dynamic range and and you know really make it hard on the sampler to record i'm, I'm singing or singing talking at a very standard rate at a very middle ground um tone you know i'm sure that there's no problems picking up my my voice or picking up the 
frequencies I'm, I'm putting out by talking. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. I don't know what I'm talking about, really. I'm just uh, trying to explain it as best as I can. So anyway, that's how you record with the input module. You can go ahead and pass it uh, into a sampler to record, or you can just plug it in directly so you can you know, hear what you're saying. And of course, do little, do cool, little effects. Cool effects. Like this, like this, or like that, or like that, or like this, or like this. Okay, now that, okay, now that, that, actually, that actually, that actually is like the NES. That sounds just almost exactly. I think. Hold on. Yeah, that's that is that is a that's perfect. That is. A, <laughs> I have to use that. I'm, I'm gonna use that in one of my songs. That sounds just like an NES scream when, like, you you know die in co Contra or something like that. It's amazing that it's so it's so similar to me, or at least it sounds similar. Anyway, so that's how you use the input module, and also how you record using the sampler module. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Solar Loon, and if you have any t uh, requests for t tutorials or things like that, please feel free to post something in the comments. I would greatly appreciate it because. I don't really have one place to re to kind of list uh, what I should record in terms of tutorials and things, and it's been a little while since the last one, so um, hopefully I'll be able to make more of them, or at least you know once a month or or every couple of months or something, so I don't go you know three or four months or five months without any kind of co either tutorials or even just content in general. So anyway, thank you very much for watching, and hopefully it was. A useful tutorial and if not please tell me so that I can make a better one in the future all right have fun playing with the input module in some